Hey you guys, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So in today's video, we're trying a self-cleaning towel, and not just any self-cleaning towel. One made with copper, and one who gives back to charity. Let's get into this video. When you think of copper infused towels, if you're anything like me, and you listen to the skincare nerds, you think, mm, gimmick, um, something, something. A board certified dermatologist by the name of Dendi Engelman actually says she loved the concept that using silver is not a gimmick in towels and she actually liked the idea. They help prevent the skin's exposure to bacteria which could potentially help prevent acne. Now I had to go back to Oral's website to know the difference between copper and silver. The reason why they prefer to use copper over silver is because silver coatings chip and wash off with every reuse leaching out into our waterways and losing its effects after as few as 10 washes which is not that many washes if you think about it we are saving the environment as well and it's time to be a guinea pig today is going to be first impressions of using all the antimicrobial towel and glove now i am going to use it like the first week or first week and a half on my face and then we're going to move down to the body <laughs> because i just don't want to be judged so i feel like if i just do my face first and then my body y'all ain't gonna judge me are y'all like that do y'all use the same towel to dry your face as y'all body i'm not judging but some people are really picky on how they do their uh skincare and shower regimens i'm just asking i'm slowly becoming a germaphobe i am realizing that because I didn't realize how much germs we were carrying in our towels until I started doing research. We have a lot to talk about these 15 days. That's all I have to say. This is what the Hydro Glove looks like. It's pretty cute. It's very um, a uni. So either a girl or a guy can use it. It's not a lot of soap residue. And y'all know I used a lot of soap. And look at this. So this is the towel. Um, what do you guys think? Um, I'm looking bomb fair and lovely my skin's not feeling irritated not itching whatsoever the fibers on the towel are very very soft so my face is still a little damp i'm gonna go ahead and just dry it with my antimicrobial towel germ free over here parasite free wing worm free <laughs> now i'm gonna go in with kudalee's uh, beauty elixir um, I am really loving this towel so far. My skin hasn't been irritated. Get you an antimicrobial towel, please. The germs, the parasites out here are real. And let's just say the parasite eggs were all over the floor. The towel accidentally drops on the floor and you pick it up. The parasites would be on the towel. You wipe your face, inhale it. Next thing you know, you have roundworm, tapeworm, pinworms, whatever. But if you have one of these towels, that won't happen. <laughs> Y'all don't believe, I'm serious. <laughs> so if it isn't obvious, I just got out the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I've washed the towel already and it's still soft and fluffy. I'm gonna have to show you guys. I'm actually really loving this towel. I don't feel the need to have to worry about getting pen worms from the eggs all over the floor, having to need to deworm every two, three weeks, months. <laughs> I don't feel the need. It just feels so comfortable knowing that your skin looks good with this towel. So here are all the towels. Can you guess which one is Egyptian cotton? A regular old towel. <laughs> and Aura, which what I'm telling you guys anyway. But uh, we're going to kind of compare. I only used bleach once and it does say on the towel avoid if you guys can see it does say avoid bleach wait let me show y'all avoid bleach i didn't know that but nothing happened to the towel so this is a really good towel it did hold up against me and the bleach <laughs> So here are all the towels. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say this. I did buy this one from Walmart about two days ago to compare. Why did it get a hoe? <laughs> Y'all ghetto. And this one is from Ikea. And I'm noticing compared to this towel and my Ikea towel, 
the aura towel is just so soft this one's just really really rough i'm really surprised i think this is a 500 300 egyptian cotton towel i'm putting it to compare to the aura can you guys see the difference this towel is just so so soft compared to this botch one kia very rough aura really soft and uh lion egyptian cotton <laughs> <laughs> I am really loving the self-cleaning towel. My skin has looked really good. I haven't had any irritation or rashes. I'm actually really, really shocked. I actually love a self-cleaning towel. And as a person who's becoming a serious germaphobe, <laughs> you know with the Rona going around. <laughs> um, I have learned the importance of having self-cleaning towels. With that being said, we have a lot to discuss. So let's talk about it. So here are all my final thoughts on using self-cleaning towels. Yes, I think they are a wonderful investment, especially if you are a person who uses um, a towel for your whole entire body. You don't go and get another towel because you think it's very wasteful. Now, that's not me. Sometimes it's me. I don't even know how old. <laughs> you know, I'm about to get judged regardless. But I do use a face towel for my face to dry my face after a shower. And then I use one for my body. Some people are like that because they don't believe in all that waste. And if you are a person, then you really should get a self-cleaning towel. Because, you know, drying off out the shower, going from your face down to your body. And then reusing your towel the next day. You can possibly get dermatitis. Any type of irritation on your skin. You can cause acne to flare up. So I think it's a wonderful investment to get a self cleaning towel especially if you're a person who's very environmental friendly you're not about wasting and you just don't have time to be using two to three different towels i do understand they're a little bit expensive but i do think they're a wonderful investment especially aura's towels because what i've noticed between aura self-cleaning towels and other self-cleaning towels is that the fabric is way more softer the cotton they use in the towel is not as thick and when you wash it it doesn't shred it doesn't tear I've even tried expensive self-cleaning towels and the fabric is just not as soft. I was very pleasantly surprised and I really enjoyed that their towel was not only soft but it was very durable. It's almost like you're drying yourself with a blanket except it's not a bath sheet. I mean I hope they get a bath sheet someday if you ask me. <laughs> that being said you guys those are all my final thoughts on self-cleaning towels let me know in the comments down below do you use a self-cleaning towel how do you feel about wiping your face with your towel then wiping your body and then reusing the same towel for the next five days especially if it's not self-cleaning and wondering why you got a rash on your face let me know men do it all the time women so don't be coming over here acting like <laughs> This is something unheard of. Y'all know they do that. When they do that, their skin stays clear. Next thing you know, when we do that, we start getting wing worms on the face, contacting dermatitis, acne. <laughs> <laughs> get round worm, pin worms, tape worms, you know, just the worst for us. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you have a self cleaning towel? What do you think? I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye you guys. Mwah.